Aram of the Pillars Arabic, Aram .almid, Aram al -imad, also called Aram, Iram, Irem, Aram, or the City of the Tent Poles, is a lost city, region or tribe mentioned in the Quran. Introduction The Quran, revealed in the 7th century CE according to Islamic belief, mentions Aram in connection with Imad Arabic, Mad Pillars Quran, the Don 89-7 The Quran, Chapter 89 Al -farj, verse 6-14-6, Have you not considered how your Lord dealt with Aad? 7, with Aram, who had lofty pillars 8, the likes of whom had never been created in the lands 9, and with Thamud, who carved out the rocks in the valley 10, and with Pharaoh, owner of the stakes 11, all of whom oppressed within the lands 12, and increased therein the corruption 13, so your Lord poured upon them a scourge of punishment 14, indeed, your Lord is in observation. There are several explanations for the reference to Aram, who had lofty pillars. Some see this as a geographic location, either a city or an area, others as the name of a tribe. Those identifying it as a city have made various suggestions as to where or what city it was, ranging from Alexandria or Damascus to a city which actually moved or a city called Ubar. As an area it has been identified with the biblical Aram, son of Shem and the biblical region known as Aram. It has also been identified as a tribe, possibly the tribe of Ad, with the pillars referring to tent pillars. The identification of Wadi Rum with Aram and the tribe of Ad, mentioned in the Quran, has been proposed by scholars who have translated Thamudic and Nabataean inscriptions referring to both the place Aram and the tribes of Ad and Thamud by name. According to some Islamic beliefs, King Shaddad defied the warnings of the Prophet Hud and Allah smote the city, driving it into the sands, never to be seen again. The ruins of the city lie buried somewhere in the sands of Al Rub Al Khali Arabic Al Urb Al Kach Ali the empty quarter. Aram became known to Western literature with the translation of the story, the city of many colored Aram and Abdullah son of Abi Kalaba. In the book of One Thousand and One Nights. Topic: <laughs> Juris Zarans and its identification as Ubar. In 1992 Renulf Fiennes wrote a book called Atlantis of the Sands about a legendary lost city in the southern Arabian sands, claimed to have been destroyed by a natural disaster or as a punishment by God. Various names have been given to it including Aram. Archaeologist Juris Zarens discussed Ubar in a 1996 interview saying, there's a lot of confusion about that word. If you look at the classical texts and the Arab historical sources, Ubar refers to a region and a group of people, not to a specific town. People always overlook that. It's very clear on Ptolemy's 2nd century map of the area. It says in big letters, Ayabarati, and in his text that accompanied the maps, he's very clear about that. It was only the late medieval version of 1001 Nights, in the 14th or 15th century, that romanticized Ubar and turned it into a city, rather than a region or a people. By 2007, following further research and excavation, a study authored in part by Zarens could be summarized as follows As far as the legend of Ubar was concerned, there was no evidence that the city had perished in a sandstorm. Much of the fortress had collapsed into a sinkhole that hosted the well, perhaps undermined by ground water being taken to irrigate the surrounding oasis. Rather than being a city, interpretation of the evidence suggested that Ubar was more likely to have been a region, the land of the Ayabarati identified by Ptolemy. The decline of the region was probably due to a reduction in the frankincense trade caused by the conversion of the Roman Empire to Christianity, which did not require incense in the same quantities for its rituals. Also, it became difficult to find local labor to collect the resin. Climatic changes led to desiccation of the area, and sea transport became a more reliable way of transporting goods. In the Islamic Hadith There are many hadiths about Aram perhaps the most interesting one is the story of Abdullah bin Qalaba who lost his camel and found Aram of the pillars while searching for his camel. 
The story has been rejected by some Islamic scholars who said that the story is an Israeliat hadith and that is because Kabul Abur was Jewish before he converted to Islam and he was accused by some scholars of narrating Israeliat stories. In fiction Literature Aram is used in Quatrain 5 of the Rubayat of Omar Khayyam to describe the brevity of human endeavors. Aram is the lost city where the Muslim hero Thalaba was kept safe in Robert Southey's Thalaba the Destroyer. H. P. Lovecraft places it somewhere near the Nameless City in his stories. In The Call of Cthulhu, it is the supposed base of the Cthulhu cult. Lovecraft and other Cthulhu mythos authors have settled on the spelling Irem. Wabar appears in Josephine Tay's mystery novel The Singing Sands 1952, in which Detective Alan Grant seeks to unravel the meaning of a strange poem found on the body of a young man. Wabar is one possible subject of the poem. Aram is the theme of Daniel Easterman's novel The Seventh Sanctuary 1987. In Tim Powers' supernatural novel Declare 2001, Wabar was a city inhabited by Jinni and their half-human progeny, and was destroyed by a meteor strike. James Rollins' novel Sandstorm 2004 depicts Ubar as an underground city in a glass bubble with a lake of antimatter at the middle. The city, which was created as the result of a meteorite impact 20,000 years ago, is destroyed and becomes a massive lake known as Lake Eden. In Washington Irving's book Tales of the Alhambra 1832, Legend of the Arabian Astrologer, "...you have heard, O King, have you not, of the Garden of Irem, one of the prodigies of Arabia the Happy? I have heard of that garden, it is recorded in the Quran, even in the chapter entitled, The Dawn of Day, I have, moreover, heard marvelous things related of it by pilgrims who had been to Mecca, but I considered them wild fables, such as travelers are wont to tell who have visited remote countries." Bayard Taylor's poem The Garden of Irem Bayard Taylor and Washington Irving were acquaintances. Video games. In the video game Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, it is postulated that Sir Francis Drake made a detour here during his circumnavigation of the world and covered up all evidence of his voyage and the accursed lost city of Ubar, until hero Nathan Drake and an evil, shadowy secret society rediscover the city 500 years later. In the video game Sunless Sea, a creation of Failbitter Games, Aram here spelled I -R -E -M was brought into the vast cavern beneath the earth where the game is set, and can be visited and explored by the protagonist. Its characteristic pillars are present in great quantity, and it maintains the warmth of its original environment even far from the sun. In the video game Fallout 4, Ubar is mentioned in the journal of Lorenzo Cabot. He describes his journey to what he believes to be Ubar. In the video game 80 Days, the player playing as Phileas Fogg could potentially encounter a Bedouin expedition in the Rub Al-Khali Desert, looking for the fabled lost city of Aram. In the video game League of Legends, the fictional city of Ikathia is loosely based on Aram, and its subsequent use in the works of H.P. Lovecraft. Topic tabletop role-playing games In the Chronicles of Darkness game line, Mummy, The Curse, published by White Wolf Game Studios Onyx Path, IREM is the Stone Age city where the game's protagonists, the Arisen, were created. In the classic world of Darkness game line, specifically Vampire, The Masquerade, Ubar is believed by some to be the first city, Enoch, where the first vampire, Cain, became king over the mortals residing in the city. It is also here where he made his first progeny, the second generation, and where they created their progeny, the Antediluvians. Topic see also Al Hijr Archaeological Site Al Yukdid Arabic, Alak Dward the Ditch, or a place near Najran Babel Arabic, Bab el Babylon Madian Midian Marib, Saba Sheba Katanite Sodom and Gomorrah The town in Surah Yasin Wabar Craters Topic References Topic Further reading Nicholas Clapp, The Road to Ubar, Finding the Atlantis of the Sands, Houghton Mifflin 1999, ISBN 0-395-95786-9 Renolf Fines, Atlantis of the Sands, The Search for the Lost City of Ubar, Bloomsbury 1992, ISBN 0-7475-1327-9. 
Charles R. Pellegrino, Return to Sodom and Gomorrah, Bible Stories from Archaeologists, Random House 1994, ISBN 0-679-40006-0 External links Lost City of Arabia, Nova Online on the Discovery of Ubar the Search for Ubar, How Remote Sensing Helped Find a Lost City, from a NASA website The Frankincense Route Emerges from the Desert, New York Times, April 21, 1992 Entry on IREM in Dan Clore's A Necronomicon Glossary Space Technology and the Discovery of the Lost City of Ubar